Hi everybody, this is Lars Vemje for Wikipedia, and welcome to volume 17 of our video series, Useful Wikipedia Tools. Today's video is about the Noteboard 2.0 by Philipp Schuschka. You can find the link to this tool in the description of this video. In my eyes, the Noteboard is a must-have for every compositor, because it takes toolsets for Nuke to another level. It is a toolset system with a customizable UI that lets you categorize your toolsets, modify them on the fly, share them with your team, and much more. Here is how it works. After you have installed the Noteboard, you can duck it as a custom tab and start creating new toolsets. In order to share your toolsets with your colleagues, you can set the Noteboard's share location in Nuke's preferences, but you need to make sure that you and your colleagues are using the same share location in the preferences, and that you and your colleagues have read and write permissions for the folder on the server you want to use to share your nodes and toolsets in order for this feature to work. You can also modify the shortcuts for sharing and downloading selected nodes if you want. If they don't create a problem with any other custom tools you have installed, I would just leave them as they are. With this drop down menu, you can set the default category of your noteboard. Unfortunately, these dummy sections are caused by a bug, but you can just ignore them. The UI of the Noteboard is laid out in specific sections. Categories, the search field, toolsets, and custom buttons for your toolsets. You can hide a big part of the UI if you want, which can be very useful to have more space for your toolset buttons. And if you click into the category drop-down menu, you can switch between your categories with your scroll wheel. In the category section, you can create categories, delete them, rename them, share them, download shared categories from your colleagues, and add your categories to your W hotbox. In the search field, you can search for particular toolsets in the category you are in. In the toolsets section, you can add, delete, rename, modify, share and download shared toolsets from your colleagues, and add toolsets from the toolset list to the all section of your W hotbox. This is one of my favorite features because it allows me to take advantage of the Noteboard's functions with the W hotbox whenever I'm working with a full screen node graph. In the button section, you can create and delete custom buttons of your toolsets. And you can also create a button with a custom color in the section by selecting the toolset you want to create a button for, clicking on the plus button, selecting your color, and pressing OK. You can even move your toolset buttons around by middle mouse clicking and dragging them around. Now let me give you a few examples of how you can use the Noteboard. The Noteboard comes with a default category. And as you can see, I have already created another category. I can create a new category by simply clicking on the plus button, giving it a name like Project 2, and clicking on OK. Now, if I want to add a toolset to my new category, I just need to. Make sure I'm in the right category, select the toolset, then I can click on Add Toolset, give the toolset a name, and click on OK. Now, this is nothing new, and could have also been done with Nuke's regular toolset system. But let me show you how the Noteboard sets itself apart from Nuke's built in toolset system. Let's say I want to update the toolset I have just created. To do that, I just need to select it from the toolset list. Click on this gear wheel icon, modify the toolset, and once I'm happy with it, I can just click on the icon again, which saves my modified toolset. This feature alone makes the Noteboard very useful for every compositor. To create this toolset, I just need to click into the area of the node graph where I want it to appear, and double click on the toolset in the list. If I want to share this category with a colleague, I just need to click on this arrow button that is pointing up. And if my colleague has set the share location for the node board in his preferences to the same share location that I am using, he just needs to click on the arrow button that is pointing down, give his new category a name, and click on OK to get the node board category I have just shared with him. You can also share single toolsets with these arrow buttons in the toolset section or use a shortcut to copy a selection of nodes directly from the node graph, which is set to Control-Alt-C by default. And then your colleague, who, again, 
must have the same share location and his preferences that you are using, can simply paste the selection of nodes you just copied for him into his node graph with Ctrl Alt V. Finally, I want to show you how you can send your toolsets to Walter Gilsing's W Hotbox. If you don't know what the W Hotbox is, you should check out Useful Nukipedia Tools 11, in which I explained how you can use this invaluable tool for Nuke. It's basically a radial menu for Nuke that triggers Python code. To send a noteboard category to the All section of your W Hotbox, you just need to make sure you are in the right category, and then you have to click on this button with the letter W. Now, if you activate your W Hotbox, you can see your noteboard category with your custom tool sets and start to use it. This feature also works in the toolset section if you just want to add one toolset at a time to your W Hotbox. In my eyes, the noteboard from Philip Shushka is a real time saver. Philip did an amazing job with this tool, and I'm sure that many compositors around the world will enjoy using this tool in production. I really hope you can use this tool in your day to day workflow with Foundry's Nuke. All right, that's it for this episode of Useful Nukipedia Tools. I really hope you liked it. If you have any tool suggestions, just send an email to admin at nukipedia.com. And if you want to watch some more of my tutorials, you can check out my YouTube channel, Love Your Facts. Again, my name is Lars Wemmier. Thanks for watching, and goodbye, everybody.